Many of our county's finest treasures lay buried beneath the earth. But why is that? Did the people of the past live deep beneath sea level? Or did they simply hide all of their wonderful possessions to try and keep them out of our greedy, grubby, jam-soaked mitts? I suppose that's for the historians and the archaeologists to decide. Nigel Bicklewood. Cheers, cheers. On Two Point Radio. Salutations and congratulations on your exquisite taste. You are tuning in for the peak of sophistication on our county's airwaves. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. But of course, you already knew that. The more you revise the longer you've been revising.
graduate students should pretend that they're listening. Time for Sir Nigel Reviews. And thanks to the enlightening intervention of our wonderful producers, you, the audience, have chosen the object of our desires this week. The public's collective wisdom has entrusted me with hog logs. I'm told a popular choice of breakfast cereal. Let's get this over with, shall we? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It almost tastes like pork scratchings. Announcement. The timetable is now live. Apologies for the abrupt end to our last segment. I've had a quick rinse and can commence with our review. The border of sweet and savory is, for some perverse reason, the fashion in fine dining circles, so I suppose it only makes sense that this would trickle down in some form to the food of the layperson. Congratulations to you, the common people, for joining in on this most foul of fads. 
talking on campus. Thank you. from Smell My Cash. Being a student is hard enough. The least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell My Cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problem.
stupid. Nigel Bickleworth, your friend over the frequencies. I tried to get this next song pulled from the station, but alas, what can one do? Well, I can play it with the disclaimer that you shouldn't enjoy it, and you won't enjoy it. Here you are, some musical tripe, only on Two Point Radio. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. on campus, oh no. Time to spill the tea with Nigel B. Nigel B? Who wrote that? Who wrote it? Have them fired, all right? Today I'm hearing that a production assistant at a certain radio station is getting the sack. Scandalous, I know, but you didn't hear it from me. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine.
are reminded that you came here on purpose. asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. come as a shock, but in my formative years, I went through a gothic phase. I know, I know, it's hard to imagine, but to a young and impressionable Bickleworth, there was nothing more exciting than a flying buttress. And the gargoyles, so pensive, so lugubrious, so stony. Of course, I'd come to my senses and learn to love the provocative opulence and theatricism of the Baroque. We live and we learn. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. It's time for Agony Answers. Today's anguish comes from patronized in Pebbly. My elder sister talks down to me. It's like we're still kids. How can I get her to take me seriously? Oh, no. How dreadful. What a very serious and adult problem you have. My advice, grow up. And of course, tune in again next time. Ta-ta. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet.
Students are reminded to find themselves. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. are reminded to be in two places at once. Welcome to the show. I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. The academic year is 
over. Students must vacate the campus. We're back. Today's election sees incumbent mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious, lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Maintenance 
Science announcement. Plants need water, remember? From Michelle and Smogley, I spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? Announcement. The timetable is now live. system. Guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! Hey, I'm climbing on a statue! Whoa. 
Everybody get in the shed! Oh, I can't revise anymore. My knees hurt. Roderick Cushion is varsity freshman in Immature Students.
It's election day here in Two Point County. Who else remembers the year they tried to hold the election through a bungle-made phone application? It's amazing to think that we'll never know whether the app didn't work or if no one voted that year. That's the mysterious wonder of pioneering technology. Anyway, here's hoping that this year we'll get some votes in. Janitor to maintain lector. Thank you. Passwords. Sorry. a word from Jeffrey in Blayton. I for one think things have been all right, but you know, could they have been better? I think I speak for everyone when I say, yes, maybe they could have. Oh, thanks for your time, Jeffrey. Wise words. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you.
there's a fly in here. The hour is almost here, and this journalist's heart is positively beating with legislative excitement. But while we wait for the final count, I'll leave you with this. I spoke to my neighbor last weekend, and he informed me that he never decides his vote until he's in the booth. Giving that fateful cross to whichever candidate has the funnier name just goes to show we're all a bit of method and all a bit of madness. The votes are in, and we're hearing that it's a landslide... ...victory for Mayor Tabitha Windsock. Some people are bound to be pleased, while others must be feeling something else entirely. What we do know is that democracy has triumphed, meaning that, yet again... The people of Two Point County will be getting what they asked for. We've made our bed, and now it's time to sleep in it. Good night. Students are reminded that some grades are personal.
announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Announcement. Plants need water, remember? are reminded that I'm not your mom.
I'm Felicity Bellbottoms and you may be listening to Campus Radio. Unfortunately, our broadcasting signal has taken a hit due to some of our equipment being prematurely recycled. One of our reporters is in a skip, looking for the parts as we speak. So, consider that colourful visual and we'll be right back. Campus intruders, please not come in. Questions. No, I've not seen your frog. And so is our broadcasting signal. Thanks to Hugh for getting in the skip. By his own account, he was happy to do it, adding that the view from inside the skip offered him an entirely new perspective on campus. Now, if that's not an idea for a segment, I don't know what is. It's almost the end of the academic year, in case you hadn't noticed.
here from Hugh, who's fresh out the skip with a story about an unusually cloudy weekend for one of the county's hottest locations. Students at the Breaking Point campus were expecting a weekend full of sun, laughter and knockabout fun. But a dark cloud has washed away their optimism, leaving them with sadness and no real use for all that sun cream. They will forecast a weekend of sun and balmy temperatures, but what they got was a drizzly and altogether grey affair. Spare a thought for them, sitting inside. Their sandals, sandless. Their skin, cool and unburnt. Fliss, back to you. Janet have needed in dormitory. I'm Ricky Hawthorne. I don't remember being a student, but I'm sure it happened. People ask me all the time, Ricky, what would you eat if you were a student? And I say, anything from the crumbly student range. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and above all else, it's affordable. Mmm, just like Mum I used to make. The more you revise, longer you've been revising.
hearing that the bored students in Breaking Point have been seen riding around campus in maintenance carts used by janitorial staff and the local Coast Guard. It's a sobering reminder to all of us that you can't take a golf cart without asking just because it's a bit cloudy. Education is non-refundable. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. ask questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne Ooh. on Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today, I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man and his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you.
intruders on campus. You know what to do. is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected, it was dangerous, it was cold in the middle. Warning, stupid questions will make you look stupid.
expensive, and education is priceless. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. Mm. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. like a milkshake. Ah. But drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill. <laughs> Be safe and try to have very slightly less than that. This message is brought to you by the Milkmaid Corporation. Intruders on campus, you know what to do. It's not on your CV, it didn't happen, not to me. 
A huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches. And of course...